<laughs> I can just imagine Black Panther just sitting with all the Panthers, just like, my brothers, do you know the way? <laughs> I'm not sorry I said that. Uh, also, also, I was, okay, I was kind of not paying attention to the battle, okay. <laughs> that noise was. But, hey everybody, it's the Catface here, and it's finally time for the start of Season 5 of Death Battle. Uh, 5, there, back up, 5 of Death Battle. Black Panther vs. Batman. I'm so excited. It was a pretty pain day today, so, you know. My hair's kind of wet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I can definitely feel it. It's, you know. Anyway, so, if you guys can see my nice DBX reaction, I had a new setup. I'm going to have a symbol set for this one. And other than that, I uh, we should get into this as fast as we can. I'm gonna try to stay centered so I can shorten the thing so we can see my face better. Anyway, so I think we can start now. I don't want to delay this any further. Uh, I just want to say I think Black Panther's gonna win off the bat, but you know, let's uh let's watch the video, okay? Three, two, one, go. Oh. This is new music. Predators. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike in awe, but yeah, mostly fear. And these two Death superheroes battle. embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the famous crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He's whiz and I'm scientist. And it's our I thought job this was Black Panther was Batman, weapons, armor, not Batman was Black Panther. To find out who would win a death battle. It's just 3D animated, I couldn't tell, I didn't really show you. Before he was okay. the Black Panther, before he was a king, T'Challa was born the prince of Wakanda. Waka, I thought it was Valkanda. Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. But while it's Wakanda Kuvilla itself City. is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. After earning numerous degrees from Charla, Harvard, six Oxford, foot, Berkeley, and MIT, Dr. Wins made made a storm. His father, <laughs> did not know that. King and then current Black Panther had been assassinated, oh. and a new ruler needed to be Ooh. named. But to claim the throne, he'd have to claw his way through the rite of passage. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating oh, the crap out of six <laughs> super deadly fighters. All right, Today, my eyes suddenly just. just... A nerdy brainiac. He could fight too, I just feel. I, I just experienced some lag. Colors. Earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda's guardian deity, Bast, the Panther God. But he had to nab some superpowers first. Wasn't that so the guy who helped Dr. Doom out? Of the heart -shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God, and that link bestowed right. him numerous superhuman abilities. Who knew getting high All could right. turn you into a superhero? T'Challa's new powers <laughs> included superhuman speed, strength, speed, sight, sight catalytic fixes, his psychic resistance, 160 plus not martial arts, dark, not quite but all of them, can even make but 160 plus. And ultraviolet light. So like, the powers right. of a cat? Yes and no. While cats do have exceptional eyesight, they cannot see infrared or UV light, though it is a common misconception that they can. Well, just like a cat, he can always land on his feet thanks to his other super senses. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which is, uh, definitely a sense for something. Kinesthetic senses make up a person's job, awareness please. of their own movement, like muscle memory, but in a broader scope. Oh, like how we that can guy up knows how to get back. At him. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. No, no. So Black Panther's so super sense lets right him move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey Wiz, how do I become king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets, and Wakanda houses one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking what is about that? How Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about Wakanda's no. enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Vibranium. Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right. Yes. 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. 
Man, they hoarded it all to themselves. And I don't blame them. Oh. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single yes. gram sells for 10,000 US dollars. And Wakanda's vibranium hmm. mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over nine billion dollars. Oh. They're rich. <laughs> Super rich. With all that Not quite wealth, as rich as Scrooge McDuck, though. <laughs> no marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. They were exploring oh. outer space years before the US and Russia even tried. So why is this important? Well, as king of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his mm. doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The panther habit oh, is coated no. in vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, like I it can said. literally rob them of their momentum. For example, I, say, this is what I think off. Black Panther's gonna win. Dead <laughs> There's no down. Their kinetic no. energy absorbed into the suit. I just realized my laptop charger's not plugged in, not that I need it. Gun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a really? shield of light, a teleportation device, and claws. Which are made of a special Like how is Batman supposed to win? Maybe Guess why it's called I mean, that. he lost because to Spider-Man, Black Panther is clearly superior. What can this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. If it takes in too much, it could wind up expelling said energy in a, well, destructive fashion. Oh hm. god! Ah, but don't worry, he's <laughs> fine, somehow! Under T'Challa's leadership, Wakanda has warded off many would-be invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. They even stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has studied Except every when you major are. martial <laughs> arts, of which there are about 160. Major. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and so that man. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, hmm. who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. I want a soldier. He can even throw spears through stone walls. Typically for construction like That's this, not possible. a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear hard enough to hit the wall with a force of over 20,000 pounds per square inch. <laughs> yeah, the guy is literally strong enough to punch your jaw off. He can outrun traffic and is said to be faster than a panther, which can run around 50 miles per hour. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Ten. Wolverine. Whoa, hold on! Did he just take out five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes he did. Yes. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. Okay, that is Attack one thing that could turn Batman in fa the the Battle Batman's favor. Oh, she has concussion sound blasts. No. Good. Because I would have to kill them too. Throughout the underworld That's not nice. of Gotham City, one name oh, joy. is fear. Come on, Batman. The of even the most hardened of criminals. The goddamn Batman. Batman. You know who yeah, is, Batman. The billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty much, though don't mistake his It's his third. Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime Vengeance. in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How no Yes. And ironic, considering he was taught to be a Batman. He's two Batman inches taller. Well, he dressed two like a Batman, inches. a cat burglar, and constantly Boy, brings children into so battle. So he's clearly got a few complicated issues. But let's see what he can really do. <laughs> what? Is really, really smart and considered one of yes. the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't have any superpowers yes. at all. Wait, you're not just some guy you're in a just bat some guy in a bat suit, are you? Sure, I love that. That's a good move right there. Incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedown, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting full body control at the age of 18, he was able to quickly master at least 127 of them. 
including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Judo, and Boxing. At least 127. He mastered all of them, so that has to be more than 160, right? He's also touted as the world's greatest detective, and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. He once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. And all I mean, he didn't, he didn't need Sherlock Holmes. Filled to the brim mm -hmm. with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. Concussion Those sound blasts. Which are thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel yes. mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means... Now, I know Wayne Enterprises does uh, technically have Ford, better ne Wayne's bigger net networks than Wakanda. Because Wakanda is uh, less than dollars. stock enterprises in Wayne... Well, stock industry, I think. Kind of and Wayne Grab Enterprises hugs, is on par with that. Cryo and thermite grenades, and of course... The batterings. Originally designed as a I don't see concussion weapon, sound blast. I know he has that. His batterings into custom shurikens, some of which are outfitted with I know he has that. Bulbs and explosives. Wait, I know and Batman that, Beyond has that. Think about does Batman have that? Cuz I know Batman Beyond has that. Fire, electricity, and bladed attacks, and is almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus his cowl sports night Kevlar? infrared and UV vision. But Bats is more than just mm -hmm. a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. <laughs> <pounds. laughs> <laughs> Superpowers. He doesn't. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds, solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. This idea generally applies to him right. in pretty much every area, physically and mentally. Does the mega beans through walls, rip apart car parts? Yeah, and remember that. Oh no 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 no! I got ads. Ads are the worst. I have to wait through this entire ad. This is stupid. I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to redo it. Three, two, one, go. A prison bars. He is quick enough to avoid gunfire the last and dark side's nearly unavoidable omega beams. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, are they including those? The Olympics. Everyone else might as well rage quit. Same difference, really. That's <laughs> not to say he's invincible. True, <sighs> this is gonna be so hard to sync up the stuff going to lag. To keep his distance. He's also somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, <clears throat> he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Those are All my right. favorite types of arms. Maybe they'll help him next time Bane <laughs> tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even after being drugged mm -hmm. by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried yep, alive six feet underground, one. he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot, to take down the Batman. What the hell are you? I tend to say, but I forgot. Oh yeah, tenacity is sometimes only avoid the inevitable. Which is the line they used in... Alright, combatants that? are set. Let's end this debate once and for God, all. Goku but first, all this talk of animals has made me think about eating some. With Blue Apron! You've used that before, Boomstick. Doesn't count. Okay. Uh, this is going to take a lot to send back up, but... This is actually closer than I thought it was going to be, because... Oh, it's almost perfect. Um... You guys know what I'm doing with Batman. I mean, I love Black Panther and all, but Batman is my favorite DC hero. Black Panther is not my favorite Marvel hero, not by a long shot. So I am. I want to go for Batman. I want Batman to win. And at first, I thought Black Panther was going to win. But after that, they didn't mention concussion sound blasts. But I mean, this is super close. I feel like they're gonna make Black Panther win. I mean, I know uh, Death Battle is based on facts, not which one would be better. I just feel like Black Panther just would win. This is a, you know, you know, um, last time I won, the person I liked ended up not being even close. In game statistics, don't do that, I guess. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go with. Yeah. I'm gonna lose. I'm, I'm gonna lose. I'm going for Batman. All right. I don't care. I think Batman. Oh crap! I think Batman's going to win. I think that. Three, two, one. Wait a second. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. 
Okay, Spider Man, I thought it was gonna be, but. Come on, Batman! <laughs> oh. Hello, Batman. We just did that. Oh, it's gone. Alright, man. Welcome to the zoo. <laughs> Why does Batman just hang out to the zoo? He's just like, my brothers, come to me. Come on. Challenge the bite to his people. Thing. Yes, we all know that line. Something to fear. <laughs> I can just imagine Black Panther just sitting with little panthers, just like my brothers. Do you know the way? <laughs> I'm not sorry I said that. <laughs> also, also, I was okay. I was kind of not paying attention to the battle. Okay. So I saw like, Black Panther missed his first attack and they've just been fighting. That's gonna hurt. Why are they at the zoo though? Oh my goodness. I mean, Black Panther, I mean, you're cool, man. If one of the reasons is that Black Panther has more has more martial arts under his belt, then I'm gonna be super angry because that's not true. Where of lion? No! Come on. Even Doctor Doom without a suit all can kill a lion in one hit, Batman. Come on. Are they gonna both fight the lions? Because I'm pretty sure Black Panther can, like, pretty sure he likes animals. Hey, he's not attacking them without attacking them. Oh no, he just, he just killed one. <laughs> Never mind about his homeboys. This is an awesome battle, though. Now I put the sleep like a nice level. What is- oh, the battle Okay, we need to throw knives at him. Oh, <laughs> Just- I didn't do crap, Batman. I gotta try a little harder than that. That's a rhino! That is a- That is a rhinoceros! Aquarium. This is insanely awesome, buddy! Prepare yourself. I'm prepared for anything. Are you though? I don't think you have to fight Black Panther. Come on, but I think you know Batman Wait, is going to win. I said over. Batman is going to win. I'm sticking by that. It's gonna be close, but amateur. I don't. I feel like. Try again. Did you think you were safe? Don't. Just better not kill him. This crow shall hunt the weak. That is the law. Batman. Answer. Uh, this, this this is stupid. Oh. And my rule is law. All right. Bye, Batman. Whoa, Whoa that's a new one. <laughs> Black Panther and Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and faster thanks to that superhuman herb. Uh -huh. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As mm -hmm. far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He the doesn't tubes. have armor, but he's physically superior to Bats just like Black Panther is. Mm -hmm. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess Except what? when it doesn't Black exist. Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. Yeah. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. Mm -hmm. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. In the end, Bruce just waned in comparison to T'Challa. The winner is Black Panther. Okay, good job, Black Panther. I mean, Batman Beyond has concussion hey guys, sound blast, but you know, so that makes five. sense. You know, that was that was great episode, though. Click that box right over there, See, first I'm not salty. It, it makes sense. I'm like that battle right there. The, 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 the annotations. That's about okay. I'm safe. Who's that? Who's that? Did it? <laughs> it's Shaggy. That clock tonight? No, that's not clock. That can't get the clock tonight. What? What? <laughs>
No! 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 Why? Not my little pony again! That's not why! Hey, was two DC characters in a row? If two DC characters lose in a row, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press the walk over school attack. Say, hey, 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 Ben, you can't sing. I'm not salty. Makes sense. So that was a good battle. I, 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 I rather enjoyed that. So yeah, I was wrong. Batman Beyond is one of the cu concussion sound blasts. If I'm even correct about that, I'm pretty sure they mentioned that in the Batman Beyond analysis. Either way, that was a great battle. I really like. I really enjoyed that. If if Raven doesn't win next time, I I'm unsubscribing. I'm that battle. Why why are you missing me? Oh, I got I got wait another three weeks to uh see that. Why did it have to be Twilight Spark? Oh. <laughs> see you guys next time.